Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in today's Tableau tutorial, uh, what I want to cover with you all is how to add leading zeros uh, to a field with a calculation. And uh, you may have a few different circumstances where this can happen. It could be a zip code or it could be an ID, but sometimes you have a number that has some leading zeros before it. And whether it's the data source or Tableau, if that field um, gets formatted as a number instead of a text field, those leading zeros are going to get stripped. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, uh, you can see I've got a simple data source here with a couple of different customer IDs. I've got customer ID where it's formatted as a string. Uh, you can see that over here in the data pane. It's got the little ABC symbol next to it. And then I've also got that same customer ID uh, when it's formatted as a number. Now, these formats were done at the Excel layer. So it's not something that I can necessarily overwrite here and, and fix uh, in Tableau. But I do wanna show you this customer ID string, if for some reason it's getting swapped in Tableau, like if I swap it to be number whole, notice that it strips those leading zeros. So the first thing that you might wanna try if you're running into issues with missing leading zeros is to swap your field from a number field to a string field. Now, if that doesn't do it because the formatting was already uh, messed up prior to the data getting into Tableau, we'll handle it with a calculated field. So I want uh, the one, two, three to have two leading zeros. I want the six, seven, eight to have two leading zeros. You get the idea. Uh, in all of these customer ID situations, uh, I want uh, to have five total digits. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna create a calculated field and I'll call this uh, customer ID with uh, leading zeros. So the first thing that I need to figure out is how many zeros do I need to add to the beginning of each number? So for instance, four, five, six, one, two, that doesn't need any leading zeros, right? It's already five digits. Whereas four, five, six, seven needs one leading zero. So what I wanna tell Tableau to do is to give me the number five, that's how many possible zeros I could add. I guess really realistically probably four, but let's call it five. There's five total digits. And I'm gonna subtract however many digits my customer ID number field is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Tableau to give me the length, the LEN of customer ID number, except I'm gonna get an error and I'll explain it. So I say, hey, Tableau, how many characters long is this field? So 9284 would come back as a four. Uh, but the problem is that the length field, it's actually a string type function. And this is a number field. So I need to actually convert this field to a string with the str function. So now Tableau is cool with this. It says, hey, what's five minus the length of the string of customer ID? So it'll be three, three, I'm sorry, it's five minus three, three, four, four, five, five. So it'll be two, one, zero. Okay. And so now I'm going to tell Tableau, give me the left and my string is going to be five straight zeros. So how many characters do I want to add? I want to add the left of this many characters. So what's happening here? For Brad Pitt, this is going to give me two zeros because it's five minus his ID is three numbers long. So give me the leftmost two characters from this string. Whereas Jennifer Lawrence, her number is four characters long. So give me the five minus four, that's one. Give me the first zero only. So this is just how many leading zeros I need. Um, just for the heck of it, let me just show you what that looks like. So I go ahead and drag that out here onto rows. So you can see two leading zeros, one, none. Uh, and then I'm gonna edit this. And what we're gonna do is say plus, give me the string of my customer ID number. I apply and that adds the rest of the string. Um, so let me go ahead and zoom in on this and then this will be a good time to pause if you wanna check this out. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put a, uh, I'll put this in the description as well. So if you just want to jump straight to uh, getting this code, then uh, you can do that. So I hope this was helpful. Hope it uh, helped solve your question. Uh, as always, if you have more questions, whether it's related to this or not, uh, feel free to add those to the comments and uh, 
maybe we can answer them in one of our uh, weekly videos here. So thanks for dropping in. Uh, we appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you here next week.